Somebody say a prayer for me. If they kill me on Friday, bury me on Sunday, more for me Monday, then you gotta let me go. Go, then you gotta let me go. Добрый день, друзья. Сегодня у нас погоня, что поставила весь Феникс на уши. Погоня началась 17 апреля в Фениксе. К сожалению, вертолет прибыл поздно. Но что смог, я нашел для ясности картины. На 51 меню патруль заметил украденный внедорожник на стоянке. В автомобиле находились мужчина и женщина. После 5-минутной погони на 43 меню подозреваемый врезался в фургон. Выбрался с пассажиркой из автомобиля и под прицелом двух патрулей завладел белым пикапом. Погоня продолжилась, петляя по всему Фениксу. Пока офицеры не настигли этот дуэт у выезда из парковки торгового центра Билдмор. Полиция утверждает, что мужчина направил на них пистолет, на что офицеры произвели 4 выстрела. И довольно кучно. Но подозреваемый то ли избранный, то ли тупо везучий не получил ранения и скрылся в здании парковки. После чего бросил пикап и покинул парковку через запасной выход. В здание торгового центра выкинул из машины женщину, завладел ее автомобилем уже третьим за сегодня. И вот с этого момента прибывает вертушка. Полиция прекращает наземное преследование. And Bruce, in the we, wrong lanes right now. Do we Go have, uh, I hope you're, I don't know if your mix minus has been taken care of. Do we have any, he's alone at this point, he carjacked somebody and that person was able to get out of the, out of the car? We never saw the carjacking because he went into the parking garage at the Biltmore. We couldn't see him in the parking garage. And then the next thing we know, we see him driving like that across the parking lot. And uh, that's how we picked him up. He was driving very erratic and we saw, you know, obviously we thought, He must have carjacked somebody, and then we heard it on the scanner. So he carjacked somebody in the parking garage. We don't know if he hurt that person when he carjacked him, but at this point, uh, driving around Phoenix uh, now, this would be probably, um, let's see, uh, it's hard for me to glance out. This looks like he's going down Thomas Road here in Phoenix. And from where you are, if you pull back, do you, how far back do you see Phoenix police or any law enforcement right now? There's none behind him close. The airplane is high up above the Phoenix police airplane they have for surveillance. Uh, we did see one of those tanks that they use to bring SWAT crews into, uh, you know, areas where they need to make a uh, felony arrest. We saw them uh, up by the Biltmore area. And then we caught, we saw the police officers in white cruisers. Look at him, he's going right through this intersection, right around all the vehicles against probably a green light there for the arrow coming the other way. And uh, once again, we don't know how this all started, uh, if the car he was in before was his or if that was a stolen as well. We just, you know, got a call to get up in the air. He's going to have to, so he sees traffic. Now he's, oh, he can't oh get in that geez. parking lot. What's he going to do here? He doesn't know what to do. So he's, oh, he's going to, oh, he was, it looks like he was going to try to turn in. Oh, up on geez. a sidewalk. There he goes. They're going to try to block him. And again, this is one of those situations Uh, He's going the wrong way up central now. This is one of those situations where all the, the light rail. municipalities are, they're all engaged in this so that if he does change cities, Just oh, he's up on the enough, light, light rail tracks right now up Central Avenue. Right. Oh, my goodness. Right. He's on light rail right now. And now he is going crossing. up Central Avenue. Now he's back in the driving lanes. Right. He's back in the right direction, which is at least something. Uh, again, and now it's, he's heading right. north. Northbound now, Bruce, is that? Northbound on, on, on Central. Ford Thomas, there's and, Thomas. Uh, yeah, I don't want to pull out too far to, to lose him, but yeah, so see what he's going to do you know, there. If, if folks are watching us, I know we're streaming your shot. I, I have going right now. If you know anybody who works this is Virginia. or lives in Central Phoenix, this he is just Virginia. turned left onto Virginia, heading west onto Virginia. Bruce, it's a white. Looks now like he's going north behind these buildings. SUV. What's he going to do here? Keep, you know, steer clear yeah, it's just, he's, he, oh my God, through a fence, just went through a, a um, chain link fence of a field that was kind of fenced in. Right. 
and going down neighbor a neighborhood street now. This is pretty dangerous. Well, it's always dangerous. Everything he's doing is dangerous. But through a neighborhood, you don't know if there's going to be children in the neighborhood playing. But he's there's going at a high rate of speed Central through Phoenix. the neighborhoods yeah, to the west side a, of Central. There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of folks, a lot of different uh, businesses, schools, uh, homes in Central Phoenix. It's just, it's a combination of things. So now he is turning on to seven. I didn't find the scanner channel. It was encrypted and we had a, we had a tough time finding it. Uh, here he goes back over to, towards I-17. He's on Bethany. And let's see what oh, he's gonna do now here. He's some traffic. Now this is bad. He's going down the off ramp of a freeway. All right, so we should this mention to good. people that they're listening to your voice, but we do have this on a video delay in case something does happen that is, uh, could be upsetting to viewers. So what we're hearing Bruce when he's, he can see a few seconds ahead of what we're actually seeing. So this man is now heading the wrong way down the frontage road off the I-17. So those lanes going the other way. Преступник еще порядка 20 минут пытался скрыться от наблюдения с воздуха. В какой-то момент из кустов появляется офицер, бросающий шипы под колеса внедорожника. The clear difference between how fast he's going and right, exactly. And uh, the first time we caught, you know, the first time we saw him, he was driving across the Biltmore. Park. Oh, he just hit something. Okay. I don't know what that Folks, was. Uh, we want to oh, thank a stop you. stick or something. Okay, so they are kind okay, of zeroing in. Okay, so here it's going to come to an end here. He's got a bad tire now because he hit something. I'm not sure if that was a stop stick, but here he comes through a neighborhood. So it looks like he's down a tire. Crazy through a neighborhood. Yeah, he's gonna he's losing a little and bit of control. Yeah, he's he's got one tire that's out. One tire is left rear tire. We saw something explode. There he goes. Oh. He's just losing control. He's, Look at this guy. Yep, Here right he goes. Two of them. Two of them. Two, okay, so right. two guys in that car now on the run, uh, jumping out of the car. The oh, thing. and there's a dog in this yard. This guy, right here. Who oh, is that? A woman? That's a woman. A girl. The police department's pulling in. The, we didn't see the guy the where guy he went in the, the backyard fence. of the yeah, home. He jumped Let's over. get to the backyard. Okay, I think he's jumping over this fence back here. And she's still in the front he of He might that be house in this yard. We it. did see a big dog there. The and police we're looking were for the guy. Pretty. All right, and we're still looking for the guy. Вот такие моменты я называю каждый сам за себя. Мужчина скрывается во дворе, а девушка, растерявшая в этой ситуации, возвращается в автомобиль. Через несколько минут офицеры приближаются к недорожнику и задерживают девушку. Okay, looks like they're taking the woman into custody. She's underneath here. There she goes into custody. And they still have to find the guy. Мужчина в этот момент успевает пересечь улицу и проникнуть в соседний дом, где он и забаррикадировался на чердаке. Полиция оцепляет район и по прибытию спецназа начинает зачищать соседние постройки. Вот они подходят к дому, где находится преступник. Собака реагирует на этот дом, и они входят. Спецназ без переговоров пускает служебного пса в комнату и через несколько минут арестовывает мужчину. Пес успел нанести большой урон и обезвредить мужчину. 
но в момент потасовки получил несколько ударов тяжелым предметом. После того, как спецназ вошел в комнату, преступник сидел у дверей весь крови, а собака лежала посреди комнаты тяжело дыша. Через полчаса пес умер. Это был офицер К-9. Трехлетняя бельгийская овчарка по кличке Бейн. Следующие кадры меня удивили. Но вот как отдаю честь служебным собакам, погибшим при исполнении. To pay their respects. This is video from earlier for those that missed it. And now we're watching. I'll switch back to a live shot. We're watching as that, uh, as Bain uh, heads up the I-17, uh, a procession, several vehicles, uh, canine officers. Looks like. I would imagine that's a pretty tight knit community. The canine officers and their handlers. This just happened today. Uh, Bain was just doing his duty like any other police dog. Those dogs are absolutely amazing. We watch them uh, just about every day from the news helicopter, doing doing a uh, a really uh, incredible job. And now you can see these officers lined up, hands over their hearts waiting as Bain, uh, as as uh, that truck with Bain's body passes by. This is Midwestern University, correct? So it looks like Bain is being taken to a Midwestern University clinic of some kind, and uh, this procession for Bain on the day that he was killed in the line of duty. I'm going back to where I've been. Seeing the dust from the battlefield I'm looking up where I wanna be Ooh. I don't know if I am strong enough 